So guys, I walk for two hours and 40 minutes. I was gonna go to uh, Detroit, uh, not Detroit, what the hell, I was gonna say Detroit. Downtown Los Angeles, but I got two more hours to go. So I'm here in a park, I'm gonna show you guys. That's the name of the park. That way, I came from that way. You can see it from here. It's way up there. Let me up there, guys. That's what I was trying to walk. I still got two more hours. So I, I think I'm just gonna give up. I'm gonna go back to my hotel, take a shower, with, take a nap, cause fuck, my feet are killing me, man. After that walk, it's been a long time I haven't walked like this, so. I mean, you know guys, I'm kinda of upset. I'm kinda of sad still, though. <laughs> but it's funny, you know, cause I, I learned something new. Every time that uh, something happens to me, I learn from it. So. This is like a whole different experience. Hopefully this turns me like into a much better person than what I am. Well, I don't consider myself a great person. Because when I was a kid, I used to do a lot of bad stuff. And even when I was 12, 15, I was still a bad kid. You know, I used to pick fights with other kids. Um, so this is a, a whole life changing, you know. Uh, something to think about it. Uh, it does make me regret some things when I used to think about my past. Um, this right here, I don't know. Something different. Uh, far away from my family. No money. Just a couple hundred bucks. I'm trying to save them up. So, I haven't been using a lot of my phone so I can actually go back and not get lost. But yeah guys, it's, it's a whole different experience. I'm gonna learn from it. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure later in the future there's gonna be people who's gonna ask me for help and I might. It depends who it is, you know? If, it, if the person can walk, see, move, work, I'm not gonna help them that much, but like uh, children, homeless people, I'm probably gonna help those people. Uh, but I really don't like talking, you know, I like more actions than talking. So, this it is what it is, guys. You just, you have to move on. You can't stay where you are, you know. And uh, this right here, I lost a lot of money. When I mean a lot of money, it's a lot of money. So, I just have to keep working. Uh, guys, go check out my other, other YouTube channel. I work on, on cars. It's called Northwest Builds. Uh, I'll post them and I'll post my link at the bottom. I'm not gonna do any editing on this video, guys, just cause this is actually a true story, you know? This is what I'm actually going through. I'm not gonna do like any editing. I'm not gonna fix it. Just like the way I'm videotaping it, that's the way I'm gonna add it. So this is part two from my from these little videos that I'm gonna be doing. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. I'll be here today, tomorrow. I leave Wednesday night. So my niece decided to, I asked my niece for help. She gave me a hundred bucks to pay the hotel. And I still got the 200. Uh, no, hold on. 500, uh, yeah, 300. I paid 388 for the hotel. Uh, 65 of what's it called insurance but once you leave they give you that money so I'm only left with 200 and so this is how it looks like where I am right now you can see it guys it's a far long walk so I'm just gonna decide to go back 
Let's go swimming, take a cold shower. So guys, now I'm, I'm going back to my hotel. This is how it looks like all the, what I had to walk. If you see that, see the tower back there guys? That's how far my hotel is. So, that's two hours of a walk, uh, two hours and a half of a walk. There guys, pretty decent. <laughs> so guys, I've been, I've been laughing, I've been sad, I'm, I'm, I'm almost like, want to cry, but I'm not going to, because it, it's funny, you know guys, it's funny as hell. So right now it's like, I'm thinking about everything. I'm happy, sad, upset, broke, homeless, and I'm just laughing. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna through. I'm gonna pass through all these guys. Um, I'm gonna get up. There's a lot of noise. I know you guys can't hear me very well. There's a lot of um. I, I'm gonna get back into my feet and just and keep moving forward with my life you know I'm not gonna hold this grunge you know part of it it was my fault too for letting some girls that I only met once or twice or three times borrow money but you know that's just me I, I try to be fair with people I try to help them out you know, some people fail, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes I help people so they, if so, if they ever find another person, they can either help them or do something about it. But some other people just take advantage. They just want to help and and don't want to help others. You know, but that's that's life. You know, guys, not everyone thinks the same. And it is what it is. You know, guys. Um, but. If you would, you want, well, guys, if someone ever did something to you, don't hold it on your chest. Try to forget about it. Because if you remember it, you're not going to be able to move on. You're not, you're going to be angry with yourself of what that person did to you. And that's what I'm trying to do right now, guys. That's, you see, I already knew, I kind of, I kind of knew that I wasn't going to get my money. But I was always thinking about it, and I was getting mad about it. So the reason I decided to come to LA, and knowing that I didn't have, I didn't have much money, I talked to this person, this person told me she was gonna give me some money, and I thought about it, I, I thought about it so many times. I, I knew what it was gonna happen. I wasn't gonna get anything, but I'm glad it did, you know. Cause now I can get, I got a little bit of that anger. Now I can actually move on, you know. I'm not gonna be thinking in my head, man. If if I would went, well, she she would probably give me my money. But no, you know, that that was gonna be in my head all the time. See, if only if I would went, I would have got my money back. No, now that I'm here, now I know I'm not gonna get my money back. Or, so now I can move on, uh, focus on my life and my career, and and we'll see what happens to me, guys. You know, I mean, I'm in my mid twenties. Life, this is not the end of my life. You know, I just have to keep working hard, and I, I'm sorry for making my long videos, guys. And they're just about talking and stuff like that, but. I'm pretty sure there's other people who's going through this. They want to talk about it. And they don't know who to trust or who to tell because they feel they're going to make fun of them. But, hey, that's how I felt. So, because of that, I know there's someone out there who wants to share it. So, if you want to talk, guys, I'm here to talk, you know. I'm not gonna judge you for what you did. We're humans, we make mistakes. 
but we have to realize it. We can't be doing the same thing over and over and over and believe in the same person, you know. Once that person lies to you, she's just gonna keep lying to you. Or, you know, if you with a girlfriend or a boyfriend, if she loves you or love or you love him, she shouldn't be making lies. You know, she should have full trust. As soon as she makes a lie, like that's over. You lose her trust. You lose everything. Not just on her, but on him too. You know, what? Like it doesn't matter how big the lie is. You're gonna have trouble trusting that person. You know, and. You just have to let him go. Sometimes you just have to let him go. It's gonna hurt, but you're gonna heal. And it's gonna be much better for you, you know? Cause I'm pretty sure you're gonna find a, a, a girl, a guy who's gonna love you, who's gonna be there, you know? For some reason, we always pick that bad person, you know? Like, there's many good guys out there, but you can't tell, cause they hide their feelings or they act like someone they're they're not because that's the way it is you know it's not they're not trying to show up or anything it's just they're afraid to fall in love because they don't want to get hurt and same with some girls you know so let's just live life let's enjoy it you know um all right so i find out these girls they're models, all right, but they have no money. But they do wear all these expensive clothes, shoes, jewelry. Guys, if you get a five hundred dollar check or a five thousand checks, act like your check. Don't waste more than what you're supposed to. You know, if you only pay, get paid like five hundred weekly, like guys, don't buy eight hundred dollar shoes, man. Like maybe. Maybe for your birthday or something like a, or if you want to go on a date or something, okay, yeah, that's fine. But like have like 10 pairs, 20 pairs of uh, 800 to $1,500 shoes, like, and you only get paid $500 a week or every two weeks, like that's too much, guys, you know. I mean, the shoes are going to rip. Clothes are going to rip. Those are replaceable. Like, save your money, guys, and keep mo uh, saving up. You know? Invest your money. Uh, try to get a side job. Try to pursue your career. But don't try to be someone that you're not, guys. Just to fit with some other people, you know? If, those, if you hang out with rich people and you have to dress like you, you're rich, so you can fit in. That's not you guys. Come on. Um, but if you dress normal and that person says something about you, why are you dressing so so cheap? Like if that person says that to you, hey, he's not your friend, you know. And just let him go. Let him go and dress normal. Don't dress five hundred dollar jeans. None, none of that, guys. Expensive cars, man. Yeah, I get it. They're cool. They're fast. Just build your own ones, guys. You know, this, what's the point of having a Porsche if you only make like a thousand a week, a month? Sorry, a month. All right, guys. See you at the hotel. I'm about to buy something because I have I haven't even eaten or buy anything. So yeah, guys. I'm about to stop here at the gas station. Yeah. Well, I'm walking, you know, but my feet. Need some water, they need a rest. Uh, I haven't eaten anything, you know, guys, so I'm about to look for something and we'll see ya at the hotel. Man, where dog supposed to be, man? Look at that. They're not allowed to shit in the backyards or on the sidewalks, guys. That's sad. They have to stick their little foot in there and hold it.
Monica City and the beach. I know you guys you can't probably hear me that way, but oh, in San Diego. We got oranges and I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are, but in Spanish we call it misperos. You know what? I'm gonna have to search it up and put them in there. You know, guys, I kind of want to jump and grab one, but they're too high right now, and my feet are hurting. You know, I've been I've been walking for let me see two hours over there, three hours. I've been walking for five hours. I still have to walk an hour and a half from my hotel. Still, you know. Ah, oh, it is what it is. You know. All right.